And next now tonight, we turn to a startling new medical report about autism. New numbers from the CDC showing one child in 68 has autism. A 29% increase from two years ago. And ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, on what is driving those numbers. Next stop, 34th Street Penn Station. This is 12-year-old Lev, a little boy with a love of trains. Have you always liked trains? I always like subways because I'm a subway expert. Just one child behind today's startling new numbers. Just two years ago, one in 88 American children were on the autism spectrum. Today, that new number, one in 68. Boys still almost five times more likely to be diagnosed than girls. Why this urge? It could be better diagnosis. But experts do say there are more children with autism. What's causing it? We know genetics play a role and that young autistic brains are physically different, but it's still a puzzle. Today's report finds most children are being diagnosed after age four. Doctors just aren't screening. But there are new technologies to catch it sooner, like eye tracking. Children with autism tend to see faces differently. In six-month-old babies, head lag like this could be a warning sign. Now we want to give us a two guys a chance. And new approaches to treatment, too. For Lev, it's about using the trains he loves. New York's Transit Museum running a special program for enthusiasts with autism, taking their love of trains and teaching them how to make friends. Rather than trying to get rid of their obsession, we're saying, let's put you in a place and working with a topic that you love. How do you feel about trains? Happy. Tonight, as those numbers are growing, so is the race to find out why. Dr. Richard Besser, ABC News, New York.